guys and welcome back to vlogmas day two um if you are new my name is ashley and this is my crazy life um with all boys and i thought that for today i would just do a get ready with me um so i hold on okay i wanted to see what that noise was um Tristan's fixing a lark juice and a lark is got a cold and he's hoarse and he's whiny. Um, I'm sorry the lighting is so awful in here. Let's see if I can like, I don't know if that's better or not. But um, I thought I would just do a get ready with me. I said I was going to do vlogmas. I uploaded that first video and then all hell broke loose. A lot of things have been going on so I'm going to share that with you in the vlog for tomorrow, but the vlog for today is actually being filmed today. So this is December the 2nd and I am doing this vlog. I just thought I would chat with you guys while I get ready. I have to go to the doctor. Um, I actually got some bad news from the doctor. Um, I'll share more about it with you as I know what's happening. Um, I really just believe in transparency because the whole reason why I do this is because if someone else is in the same situation as I am, then I want to help them. And so I believe in transparency. But um, basically, they found some abnormalities in my pap smear that they did um, when I went to the doctor, to my OB. And um, today, they are testing for cancerous or precancerous cells. Um, in my cervix so we are praying I have lots of family and friends praying for me um, for um, healing and for good results and for non-cancerous <laughs> anything and all of that so that um, everything will be healthy for me and for Jensen and everything will be a-okay and we won't have to worry because um, the concern is of course when you're pregnant they can't remove those cells while you're pregnant because they're located in a place that the baby has to have intact um, to stay in there so um, we're hoping that it's not cancerous and it's not anything serious and it can just be monitored until the end of my pregnancy so we're just going to have to see, but Jensen is wonderful, and he is growing. If you didn't know his name, now you do. I'll share his full name on my pregnancy video. I'm going to do a pregnancy update. I completely, I just call him Jensen all the time, so I didn't even remember that I haven't told you guys his name. But his, his name will be Jensen, and he is a boy. In case you didn't see that gender announcement video on my other channel, I'll link it down below so you can go look at that. And that's a lark wanting to come in. And, and he's saying he wants his BB. Um, you need your BB? Yeah. Um, I think your BB is in here. It says Blanky in case you didn't know. I think your BB is in there, I think. Or it could possibly be in the living room. Yeah. But anyways, we all have colds. Not COVID, but cold. When you have a cold and you know it's not COVID, everybody looks at you like it is COVID. So you can't sneeze and you can't sniffle and you can't cough because everybody thinks you have the plague, even though you don't. So that's rough. And I don't like going to the doctor with that because then they ask you a thousand billion questions about how do you know it's not COVID and this and this and what's your symptoms and da 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 da. But we are getting better from our colds. But alerts a little bit hoarse from his, so all that stuff is draining, and it's making him a little bit hoarse. But anyways, he's now playing with the, with the pack of toilet paper. No, no, it's nasty. No, and I don't know why my children have fascinations with the toilet, but they somehow do. So yeah, there's that. Yeah, that's nasty, yucky. Um, but anyways, so I. And I'm getting ready to go to the doctor. I'm actually getting ready to go and take the boys to my mom's. And then I'm going to meet Joshua at the doctor. And he's going to come with me. They do allow one person to go with you, so that's nice. Because this is not really the most calming experience. 
obviously. You hear the C word and it's a very horrible thing. So, um, yeah. But, um, we're going to get through it and it's going to be all right. Like I said, I have a lot of lovely prayer warriors praying for me and praying for the baby and everything's going to be okay. It's not dangerous to the baby. It's just the fact of what type of danger is dangerous to me and waiting until um, he's born to get it fixed. Um, so that's really the concern, uh, me obviously. Me's. Uh, me me's. I don't have any memes that you like, baby. You don't like those memes. <laughs> Oh, um, Killian, could you get him a fruit roll up for me? Anyways, so I have a very aggravated and grouchy toddler. So there's that. And that's not fun. So I'm trying to um, keep him happy and hopefully he'll feel better in a couple of days. I need to go grab him some medicine that his doctor said he could take. Um, on the package, it says that he's a little bit too young for it, but his doctor said it was fine. And so I need to go grab him some of that medicine. And then I got his doctor to prescribe him some ear drops because he's been pulling on his ears. So hopefully that will make that better. So I'm going to grab him. I'm going to give him some Motrin before we go to my, meet my mom with him. I think he's pouring out the cat's water, so that's lovely. Ah! Oh no. Yep, cat's water bowl poured out, so that's fun. That's always a nice, lovely thing. Um, I'm supposed to be getting a phone call, so I'm probably going to have to pause this in just a second. Um, this sweet lady wants to call and pray with me. So it's really sweet and wonderful. And her and her family, I met her sister in college and that family has been the biggest blessing in my life. Like, you don't even understand how um, you can have the smallest interaction with someone and, and barely even see or talk to them, but still have a huge, and I'm using it as a mirror, and it's not really the best because it's not that close and the angle's not quite right, but, you know, sometimes you just go with it. But um, you can still have the biggest impact on their life, and it's really amazing. So that has been the case with her and her family. So it's her, her sister, her mom, like everyone, all of them. Just she comes from a really big family, and I love it. And they have just had the biggest impact in my life from college until now. So have all these baby hairs growing from who knows what. I don't know if it was breakage before pregnancy and now they're growing out or if it was, I don't know, but it's not fun and I'm not loving it. And so I'm really wishing they would just grow out because they stick up everywhere and they don't, they don't ever stop. So I'm probably going to have to put a little bit of, a little bit of hairspray to make them behave because yeah it's not it's not that great it's not that fun i'm kind of growing my hair out just a little bit because girl mama cannot handle not putting my hair up in a ponytail like it's driving me bonkers so yeah i'm trying really hard to just let it grow out enough to put it in a good old bun and that's fine um, mascara, face, so I like my hair shorter, but it's just, it's better when I can just throw it up and not have to worry about it, because when you have short hair, that means that you have to do your hair every single day, and it's just like too much, you know? But definitely, if you are a praying person, say a prayer for me, because this is scary. It's not what anybody wants to hear, but especially you don't want to hear it while you're pregnant, 
not even in the middle of your pregnancy. I will be 17 weeks tomorrow, so not quite the middle. And me and Jensen have 22 weeks to go, so tomorrow we will have 22 more weeks to be 40 weeks, which I probably won't make it quite full term. Um, because I, I haven't with any of my other ones, but it'll be close to that, about 20 weeks left. And, you know, it's pretty stressful to hear this news when you can't, there's only so much that they can do that is safe for Jensen while he's in there. So, and his safety comes first, in my opinion. Um, so, um, we're just kind of trying to see what's happening. See if we can get the gist of what's going on with me and why I got these bad test results. And see if we can get it figured out. So, hopefully it's... It's, hopefully it's the best case scenario of a bad um, situation and hopefully it will it'll be okay and we'll be able to resolve it you know without too much trouble um, Joshua and I were um, I'm sorry my lips are so chapped Oh, we were talking about the prospect of maybe having one more and depending on what this is, how bad it is, what's going on with it, that could make that complicated. So it's just a matter of figuring it out and getting it fixed. Yeah, I'm going to put some deodorant on because that's necessary. If you didn't know it was necessary, now you know. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, so it's it's a lot and I'm trying really hard to um, be calm and just have faith because you know it's just a thing it's just an obstacle it's just a scare and there's no sense in overreacting and getting upset or worried when you don't exactly know what's going on and so I'm trying to just calm down and breathe and be okay and I think I can do that I think um so that's what I'm trying to do at least I'm gonna go get my clothes and then I'll show you what I'm wearing um I know a lot of people do that they're interested in that I don't know that you're gonna be interested in what the heck I'm wearing but we're gonna show you anyway because that's just yep it's freezing outside um, it was actually snowing the other day, and actually, I'll talk about that in today's vlog for Vlogmas, but because after I do this one, I'm going to upload it for today, and then I'm going to start filming for tomorrow's vlog as well, so I can upload that tonight when I get home and edit it for tomorrow's video. So hopefully, everything will go okay, and I'll be on track. But, I, um, yeah, I, we've been... We've already had an issue with our van that we just bought less than a month ago. So we're trying to figure that out as well. So a lot of things are going on right now and they're stressful, but it's okay. Um, and we'll, we're just going to figure it out. Um, yeah. So we're, we're, we're just going to figure it out. <sighs> but anyways. I am going to go get my clothes and I will show you guys what I'm going to wear when I get that on and then we'll kind of go from there. Okay, so check this out. This is the baby bump at this stage. You guys kind of get to see this is 17 weeks, baby. Baby bump. 17 weeks. Already out of breath. That's part of it right and I'm gonna wear this like sweatshirt dress because like I said it's flipping freezing outside so there's that and yeah so I'm supposed to be getting that phone call she hasn't called yet but I do want to make sure that that I am able to answer that call so I'm gonna end it here um, I will 
pick right back up where I left off. Not for you guys, for you it'll be the next day, but for me, it'll be right where we left off. So I'm wearing this cute little hoodie dress with my baby bump and these Christmas tree leggings because tis the season. And I'm gonna wear some, I don't know, some like Walmart fake Ugg boots or some. <laughs> I got them out of the little girls section. I was so happy about those boots last year. They're so comfortable and I got them for $5. Um, so I might wear those or I might wear some other boots. I don't know. But I'm going to do that and then be available for this phone call. And then I'm going to get the boys ready. We're going to get in the car. We're going to go for it. And I will see you tomorrow. And you'll see that footage tomorrow for day three of Blackburn. So thank you guys so much. Here's the phone call. Make sure you subscribe and like and comment down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.